starts off and let's get going with cannot believe we're already in Wednesday of this week. This week is just flying by. Uh, but good afternoon, everyone. This is Carol Sue, aka Naughty Boss, live with two sisters. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Janice, aka Wellness Diva 6.0 on this Wealth Wellness Wednesday. Some days I just don't know where to begin. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, it is Wealth Wellness Wednesday, so this is a great day um, to pay it forward with paying kindness. We know that. Um, and also having that healthy exchange, financial exchange with someone that you don't know. That's the whole point of Wealth Wellness Wednesday. To kind of put it out in the universe. Because we know uh, as entrepreneurs and as uh, people that work the old good nine to five, of course, lately, I think a lot of people are saying they're working more than nine to five. Um, but the whole key to that is that the more you make, the more that you can impact people, whether it's a community, whether it's a church, uh, whether it's your favorite charity. Uh, it's just a good way of knowing that, God, wouldn't it be nice to just write out that check and not worry uh, what the balance is in your account. And the way you do that is when you're practicing positivity, putting good vibes out there and paying kindness forward. So that's Wealth Wellness Wednesday. And people say, well, why do you connect the wealth with the wellness? Well, a lot of people don't like talking about money. Uh, and it's for a lot of people, it's kind of a taboo subject. You don't want to you don't want to talk about what you make, which we understand. You don't want to talk about, you know, how you're going to give to or to impact people. But the bottom line is uh, you can have healthy conversations and have a healthy commitment uh, with money, uh, being responsible with it, but also working hard towards the goals that you know require more money in order for you to impact people in a positive way. So a lot of people get confused when you start talking about that particular subject because they think oh well it has to do with having more bells and whistles more toys and like more luxurious lifestyle that's not what we're talking about we are talking about impacting people in a positive way um so i i love this day it's a, it's a fun day uh because you know you got to try to be a little strategic about how do you you know impact somebody in a financial exchange when you're not really exchanging money and they don't know who you are that's the whole point. That's the fun of it. So the other key piece is it's the act. It's the art of the act. It's not about the financial amount. So if you want to do it with a dollar, you want to do it with $5, you want to do it with $10, you want to do it with a hundred dollar bill. It does not matter. It's what you want to do and then have fun with it. Really start thinking about how can I sneak a bill in some way, some fashion, whether it be at a store, whether it be at a coffee line, whether it be at a gas station, uh, whether it be at a restaurant, whether it be, uh, you know, in a random place. So a random act of kindness in a random place. And that's kind of the fun. I also want to show you, let me see. I just moved those clean out my, clean out my drawers. I missed the button I usually move on. So typically what I do, uh, because we know, so I got a little card here and it says, the little card says, gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. And who said that famous line? Do you know? Um, oh yeah, but the name is, escapes me. Um, mm. Big Ziggler. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. So I have this, these little cards. I'll put a bill in it. And, and they also come with an, uh, uh, an envelope. A lot of times I don't use the envelope because I don't really know how to address it per se. So I'd like just using that. And the bill folds up nicely in there. Um, the uh, actual card is a little bit too big to go into, say, a credit card machine because I like to do that too. Um, so a lot of times I'll you know, fold the the uh, the bill in such a way it's sticking out enough so people can see what it is. And then sometimes I'll get a little clever and I'll hang around to see that unsuspecting person, their facial reaction. Nine out of 10 times, they look to the left and they look to the right. They think it's like a candid camera moment, like what is going on here? And then they're taking it, but they're not really sure that they should take it, which I think is also kind of funny. 
So I have a lot of fun doing that. And, you know, you be creative. Uh, now, we're not suggesting that you always hang out to watch the person uh, because sometimes the anticipation of what you don't see is fun too. You imagine that person being excited. You imagine that the person is going to, it's going to make them feel good, which we know when you're happy and you feel good, that increases your endorphins. And just maybe, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll pass on the gratitude to someone else and impact somebody else's day in a positive way. Hmm, that is so true. And thank you. You always explain it just so amazingly, like you are uh -huh. a pro at that. And I so appreciate that. I have a question for you. Yes, you do. Opinion. What, why do you think there is such a stigma of when we talk about money? Like I, what in your estimation? Well, I think people get uncomfortable um, because I think we have a preconception that the more money you have, that you have, uh, let's say, a uh, a better status, and that, and that is so far from the truth. Um, people with more money will tell you, uh, very frankly, that yeah, it's a good feeling knowing that I can help and impact people and write up that check and not not blink. Um, for those that are trying to reach that goal. I think, again, they have that preconceived notion that people might think less of them because they don't have as much as, say, you know, that whole concept of keeping up with the Jones, Joneses. Um, but we're not talking about it in that way. We're talking about um, really almost to a point where you can dispute uh, the fact that the people that say, oh, you want more money or you belong to or you're an entrepreneur or you're, uh, you know, in market uh, network marketing. Uh, because you, you know, you know, it's a pyramid or you're, you're trying to, you know, seduce money and, and, and uh, out of people. And that's, A is number, I'm not saying that there aren't those people out there. Of course there are. That would be like saying there's no night and we know there's day. So of course there's night. But what I find is that people, when they understand the value of what more money can do for you, not only yes, the perks of having more money, your vacations, the the you know the bells and whistles that you want to buy, the bigger home, the faster car. Uh, of course, people will buy those things with them. That goes without saying. But we're taking it from a different perspective that having a healthy relationship with money makes it doable, plausible, and really uh, puts it out in the universe that you want to attract more money. And the only way for you to do that, we know when you're putting things out in the universe and you wanna attract positive things in your life, you gotta say it, you gotta show action. Um, and this is an action in order for that. I think people get uh, uh, uncomfortable uh, with talking about money because you know maybe certain people have, you know they're struggling or uh, which again, you should even put those struggles out in the universe in a different manner. Any type of goal, any kind of thought is an electric current. So if we already imagine that we in, are in a position to just write out that check, we're going to naturally attract that to ourselves. You know, you say I am wealthy and I'm going to handle my wealth in a healthy manner to not just do always frivolous things. It's, it's nice to do a frivolous thing every now and then, but to make my mark, to help other people, to impact maybe somebody less fortunate. So I'm going to attract wealth. I'm going to attract that I already am, you know, have millions in my checking account. I'm going to already uh, imagine that life I deserve. And in doing so, I know my life to make it deserving and worthwhile also includes helping other people. Hmm. And so I think people that's for some is not attainable that, Oh, so you're, so you're telling the universe you want that. Yes. And the more that you do that and you write in your journal, you know, I am wealthy. I can impact, I can help other people. Those are the things that you're going to naturally attract because that's what your focus is. If you notice the people that complain about money all the time, mm -hmm. most of them 
you know, I hate to use the word, the, the phrase of Donald pot to piss in, because that's kind of a one of those weird sayings, but because that's all to talk about. We, I don't have enough. Well, how can you change that mindset? Imagine that you do, and you would be surprised when you start taking those positive actions and putting it out to the universe. You know, maybe you get a promotion. Maybe you get a win windfall that you didn't know anything about. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you got a raise. Uh, you may, maybe you, you know, I mean, how many people have money in accounts that they forget about? And I remember there's some, there's some website that you can do. And everyone, you know, hey, would it, what if you had to put a deposit down on something and you never got reimbursed for it? And all of a sudden you find out that you got $300. Well, that's something that you'd be skippy about, right? You attracted that to you. So I, I think people just generally, you know, back in the day, you didn't talk about money, you didn't talk about politics, and you didn't talk about religion. Well, of course, that all went out the window with social media. We know that. That all went out the window when we, we took those barriers down. Because it is okay to talk about religion. It is okay to talk about politics. And it is okay to talk about money. As long as you do it in a positive, respectful way. And that at the end of the day that you're exuding and telling the universe what I want. Mm -hmm. I want more wealth to impact other people. Maybe I want more wealth to uh, you know, build a building that's going to help uh, veterans. Maybe um, children that have gone through you know, some sort of traumatic event in their life and now you've got a uh, a building and now you can set up a, 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 you know a, a nonprofit or whatever to, to assist people it just is what you're putting out into the universe so I, I know i think people just one of those awkward subjects that they don't they don't want to talk about you know and, and thank you for for answering that and, and i appreciate that and i think it goes back to to um what we always talk about for every action there is a reaction and I think there's a passion and a purpose that we that we strive to do or that we want to do for others. Like I, and it's an anonymous way to do that without like physically putting your name on it. But um, and what you can do, what you get out of that, like you, like you had mentioned, you know, maybe you stick around, maybe you don't. But for those times where you don't like just imagine and, and I just imagine and, and every time you describe it it's like okay well she's not there or I'm not there and how amazing that person feels like maybe they're struggling to buy their groceries or or even put gas in their car to get to work and just that you know monetary amount that help them like that is so powerful it is and that's why i love it because it's something simple that everyone can do now some and when we talk about it, a lot of people say well i don't have an extra 50 dollars." okay it's not about the monetary amount do you have an extra dollar and you know and that's how i, how I look at it. it because it really is not it's the action it's the act of doing, of impacting someone in a positive way that is going to release those endorphins, but you know that, hey, maybe next time, I know I need more money. I'm working harder than ever because I want to attract more money to myself. And that way, next time, maybe I, instead of leaving a dollar, I can leave a $50 bill. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's how you uh, really train your, your mind. And we already know that our thoughts our electric currents. Anyone that knows anything, like I said, you get somebody that constantly is complaining that they have no money, they have no money because they're not attracting money to themselves. Someone who complains about, you know, getting in the car and they're, oh, I'm going to be late for this appointment. I'm going to be late for this appointment. And then we know the domino effect is they're going to be late for the appointment because now they're stuck in traffic. Maybe somebody cut them off. Maybe you got a speeding ticket. Something is derailing because they're putting that energy out. And a lot of people will argue about the energy piece to it. I'm, and I just block that noise out because I know it's true. I know that the more I talk about trying to be positive, and that doesn't mean that we can't have, uh, we have to renegotiate that. You know, we all can have a moment where we're like, you know, it's not going right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, pause. Let me rephrase that. Let me revamp up my mindset and what energy am I putting out? 
Am I focused on the not can, the what if, or am I already imagining that I already have it? Mm-hmm. And it makes a different um, feeling within yourself when you already imagine having it. Like how many people talk about, oh, one of these days I'm going to get that, that cruise. Well, do you visualize yourself on that cruise? Can you see yourself in the dining room? Can you see yourself walking? Maybe you're pretending you're like, you know, going back to the Titanic. Uh, I'm talking about the movie though. Um, you know, like with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and, and uh, what the heck was her name now? Can't think of it off the top of my head, but she's in the front of the boat, like just like she's flying. Um, you know, can you imagine being on that cruise? Maybe you, you know, always imagine taking this big trip to Europe. Well, go out. Uh, you know, get some magazines or go on the internet, and visualize, get some pictures and visualize that. Maybe cut them out, put them on a, a poster board. Um, but when you have what you desire and you know that the more money you would have is going to make that happen, you got to put it out there. The universe is an abundance. We, we like even, even in these crisis times of money from a, from a perspective of what is going on in our country, there's an abundance of money out there. There's an abundance. You just have to want it and you got to ask for it. You can't just keep it locked up in your brain. You got to really just say, I deserve, I want, and this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And you're going to find that, that when you have that creative mind and that you are really focused in, and you, you don't just say it once, you say it over and over again, I am worthy. I am wealthy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to help blankety blank, blank, blank. So I'm a firm believer in that. Oh, yeah. And, you know, having that prosperity, sharing that prosperity, there, there is a value in it. And obviously, from a monetary standpoint, and it, it could be as little as a quarter, it could be whatever you want it to be. The, but the value for you as the giver and the value for the receiver, yes, are two different things. But think of that value, for instance, that goodness that you add to your own life. When you do something like that, and it, it just fills you with such um, with such gratitude, and it all goes back to the mindset and, and the ele- the electrical currency that goes on up here. Um, you're, I think. You, you're in a better frame of mind to um, really know that you are worthy as the giver and as the receiver. Right. And again, uh, goals are nothing unless they're, you know, you got to write them down. You got to envision and always envision it. Don't just have it kind of go in one. Oh yeah. Today it's wealth Wednesday. I imagine blah, 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 blah. And then you don't think about it for another week. Mm-hmm. You've got it. You've got to really train your mindset to say no and say it over and over again. I am going to be successful. I am going to uh, be able to have a uh, healthy relationship with money. I'm going to attract more money because I'm worth it. I'm going to work hard. And this way I can help other people. Mm-hmm. And I think when you do that continuously, you will find uh, that the law of attraction is very, very real with the universe. Uh, a lot of People think it's a little cuckoo, uh, but um, there's there's too much evidence to support uh, what we're saying, and we we do know that our uh, mindset is our our thoughts are an electric current. That's that's a given. So why not be telling the universe what you want, why you want it, how you're going to get it, you know, work hard towards it, and ask. You can never receive anything unless you ask. Yeah, you just have to, I think, really um, tap into that and train your mindset in a way where maybe, for instance, if you go out and go for a walk, think of how you can impact someone's life. You know, maybe you found an extra $5 lying around. What would that mean to someone else? And again, it's not about the amount. I'm just using that as an example. Sure. But um, <laughs> train your mindset to look for the, um, the affirmation and what you're doing. You know, we talk about affirmations all the time. And by the way, um, a vision board is a great idea. There are apps for that. 
and I had downloaded one. I, I know I kind of digress a little bit, but you know, it, if you are a hands-on person doing a vision board with, like, for instance, you were talking about that cruise, you know, make it, um, set it up in a way where it is staring at you, it's staring, you're looking at it every day. And as you're looking at it, yep, there I am on, on that cruise and I'm having a wonderful time. And maybe you feel the sun, maybe you're on the deck and you feel the sun. Think of those feelings, right? You know, just you know, it, it's and whatever that could be. Maybe you want to go to some exotic place. Maybe you want to, um, you know, rent rent a uh, Winnebago and, and travel travel the country. A lot of people dream of doing that, and sadly, dreams don't happen unless you put it out in the universe. And you could dream about all you want, but if you're not asking for it. It may never come your way. So why not? What have you got to lose? And it's going to make you feel good. Like, this is what I'm working for. Do I mean, a lot of people don't do that enough. What am I working so hard for? What is, what is the end game? What is my goal? Why do I do what I do? What do I hope to accomplish? We don't have those conversations because then it's like, you know, the doubt sinks in. Well, what if it's not going to happen? You know, what if I can't do it? You already have to have the mindset you already did accomplish it and you worked so hard at accomplishing it and getting it, you're already on to the next goal. So it's it's perception of what we put out there. And I think if people thought about really being more intentional with what they're asking the universe, being more intentional of how you're going to get there, uh, being more intentional about really surrounding yourself with positive vibes, positive people, and making sure that you're allowing that time to say, you know what, I'm going to spend 15 minutes. I'm going to write down all the things that I'm working towards, everything that I want, and then go back and write it again and write it again and write it again until it becomes a habit. It's a healthy habit of writing down what you want. And then you keep thinking it and you keep thinking it and you keep thinking it and you would be surprised uh, how the universe will actually be in tune to what you're thinking about, what you're asking. Yeah. And all you have to do is tune in. You may hear it, but you really need to listen. And whenever I hear the word, uh, the end, I don't know if you remember, um, that group, um, black eyed peas, they have an album out. It's called the end, but N signifies energy never dies. Right. And the other thing that end equates to is every end started from some big from some beginnings end so a lot of times the end just means it's a new beginning mm -hmm. because every beginning has an end and you know when you have that type of mindset and can equate that you know the, the, the old-fashioned statement statement uh, one door closes another door a uh, window opens or vice versa a door closes another door opens windows open then it shuts well then it reopens again those are all things that to let you know that you know infinity of time uh your thoughts are the same thing you have an infinite amount of time it, it's timeless it, can, it goes on and on forever so why not direct the universe into a, a reasonable state uh that you want to attract what you want and i think people think it's conceited uh it, that it's um you know kind of conceit that the conceit is the only word I can think of at the top of my head which I know there's other words out there what do you mean I mean I, I feel I deserve this we do and it's okay to say I want it's okay to say I can I will I am and they're better than saying I won't I cannot do I'll mm -hmm. never achieve it's it's, it's a matter of where do you want your mindset to go? Do you want to be positive and imagine that you already have what you want? And that's what you have to do. And a lot of people struggle with that piece to it because they just think it sounds almost stingy to do that. And it's not. And, you know, it just goes to show you that hashtag shift, S-H-I-F-T happens. It doesn't happen to us. It really happens for us. And we may not see it at the time, but I think, again, it goes back into 
tapping into um, saying that you can, I can do this versus I can't. Well, maybe if your your first response is I can't, well, maybe the question back at you could be, well, how can I turn this around where I can? So, right. you know, I think it's kind of a trifle, trifle kind of um, way to perhaps work through something. If, if the first thing, and, and believe me, it, it's happened to me several times where I say, oh, I can't, I can't. And I'm like, I've we're all human. Yeah, we're all human. It happens. But I try to think of it in a way, well, I can, but how can I work through this or how can I achieve this? Um, and I think we would be surprised of how the energy never dies and gives us perhaps the answer we need. Absolutely. And, you, you know, like I said, when you zone in, on really training your brain to ask the universe what you want, I promise you, and it's not something that necessarily happens overnight, uh, but it's really retraining your brain to think positive, uh, positive messages and positive feelings, which naturally is gonna attract good things to you anyways. So, uh, you know, you, you, some people are just naturally think that way. And I can hear so many people say, oh, that person's got every, like everything just seems to come so easy it doesn't come easy uh some people naturally have that gift of you know really being positive nine out of ten of us have to work at it because we're distracted by you know the alerts and what's on the news and what's going here what's going there um and then say no i'm blocking out that noise and i'm really going to focus in on my needs my wants and i'm going to put it out there Hmm. And I think too, it's perhaps our, when we see someone where, as you just referred to, oh, is doing better and they're, they got all their chate together. Mm -hmm. um, oops, sorry about that. Um, maybe it's our perception. Correct. That, exactly. That's not us. I feel that way. So, exactly. so after, before we, we add, get, to get back to the Titanic, we're, or, or this, what did you call it? A submarine? Is that what? So is it submarine? Yes. yes. Um, several days ago, uh, there was um, this so submersible um, submarine, if you will. Obviously, it, it was submerged. Um, yeah. And I believe its name is the Titan. Um, it went on a mission Sunday while diving to reach the wreckage of the titanic um, so where is the, and that's located where um somewhere in the zone of where a certain railroad by a certain someone wants to be built and i'll just okay leave at that um i'd have to look at the map again but it's you know there's always even when we see a situation and, and we feel as there's no no hope. I always believe that there is hope and, and I pray. Um, <clears throat> from what I understand, it was only supposed to be a two to four hour uh, submersion. Um, and unfortunately, something happened. We don't know what, um, but they've been down there for quite a few days and now they're less than 24 hours away from no oxygen. So there are five individuals in this submarine. So That's what I'm gonna ask you, how many people? So it's five individuals. Yes, five individuals. And the person that's at the helm, who I understand has been down this specific route. It's not like he was a first timer going down in this right. uh, submarine and trying to do what he was doing. Um, he's been down quite a few times. I think they said like 38 or 39 times. So are they in contact with them? No, no. So um, why is that? I don't know all the specific particulars yeah. about that. I think when they, they lost them, whether it was on, uh, I want to say a sonar radar type of thing, mm -hmm. they have picked up some sort of sound <clears throat> and they're hoping that they can get to that sound where they're hearing it from the origination so you know prayers you know there there sure there's always miracles out there and certainly yeah. 
that this is a miracle in the work. So yeah, absolutely. And they have not released who's on this. They have one of the guys, um, I don't have his name in front of me. I was doing some research this morning is from Kent, Connecticut. And I believe that he was um, part of the curators for um, the Titanic um, museum that was being, uh, you know, that goes around to different right. venues and whatnot to showcase, you know, the different items that, excuse me, have been collected throughout the years. So prayers. prayers. Yeah. And every, and they really saw the names and so not just his. Yeah, yeah. There, there is, um, I know a, um, a dad and his son, the son is 19. Um, and I believe that was, I wish I had my notes in front of me. That was the guy that was from Connecticut. I could be wrong on that, but that was my recollection of the notes that I took this morning. Wow. So. Well, yep, our prayers uh, are, are are with, with all of them that they, uh, that they find where they're at and that they can be uh, rescued. So for, for sure. All right. Well, with that, you know, sad news, uh, you know, how can you impact other people in a positive way? You know, something like that is like, you know, you, you pray for the families. Um, but I always tell people, you know, when you get kind of news that, you know, is, is, is sudden news and you don't know how to digest it or you realize that well what can I do I can't do anything uh, there are many people that you can impact in a positive way especially on Wealth Wellness Wednesday so uh, look within your own community look where you have the avenues to impact others in a positive way you know when we go through tough times or hard times or uncertainty uh, I always tell people instead of dwelling on the uncertainty uh, take action uh, positive things to do how can you impact other people? Can you help out, you know, check in on an elderly neighbor? Can you, you know, check with your church, see if there's any volunteer positions, uh, double check with your hospitals, your schools, your local libraries, anywhere that you can impact these little people in a positive way and maybe leave them uh, feeling better about their day uh, is a great way to make actually yourself feel better because you know you're empowering and you're impacting others in a positive light and that's going to make you feel good too and that's that's the whole part of gratitude it's it's a two-way street it certainly is um and i love how you describe that you know um how can you impact and be that positive light and on that note we hope that you are the positive light in someone else's life go to our website www two sisters s i s t a s dot online leave us a voice message or you can always send us in a contact form my name is janice aka wellness diva 6.0 and i am with two sisters and this is carol so aka naughty boss uh, i got in some great pickleball today and now i'm jumping into the chair and dance arena uh, reaching out for our winners choice championships 2024 so we've got a lot of great events that are going to be on fort lauderdale nashville atlantic city uh, mohegan sun foxwoods so we're really pumped and excited about that and then of course health and wellness i'm on day two now of getting back my three steps in my system feel amazing feel good feel great so we want to wish everyone uh, a great wealth wellness wednesday and we will see you tomorrow which Wednesday, Thursday. Take care. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. -bye. Bye,